Good morning. It's Saturday. Last night we learned that Will Smith has resigned from the Academy. You know, I wanted to come back and do a quick video because um, it was stated that the Academy was meeting and they needed to make a decision or come up with the punishment for Will Smith. I really didn't like the way how that sound. It just has a lot of flashbacks to me. But I ain't going to say nothing. But I just didn't like that, you know, black man is just sitting down and waiting for people to make decisions about um, his life. I understand what he did was wrong. I totally agree. Y'all know how I feel about that. I think Will Smith was wrong. He should have been arrested. He committed a crime. Um, battery assault. And so, um, you know, they basically have to make a decision. But my thing is now, if there's nothing on the record to say this is what's going to happen when you hit somebody, you can't just come up with a punishment because he hit somebody, okay? <laughs> um, but that's, that's, that's how I'm having some internal struggles with, with um, the whole situation. So we learned last night that he resigned and, you know, maybe he was like, let me just go ahead and resign before they do something. Let me do something before I let them allow them to do something to me. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, I feel so bad. I just feel really, really bad. I feel bad for Will Packer. This was his, his first time uh, producing the Academy, first time for Black people, producing the Academy, first time, if I remember correctly, so many Black pe people of color, people of color are uh, winning the Oscar. It's just, it's it's really, it's just so, it is just so, I, I'm just having a lot of internal struggles. I don't know if you guys are, but you know how I am. I sit and I, I think about stuff. <laughs> I think about stuff and I'm just having um, a lot of internal struggles with it. I feel bad for, um, for Chris Rock. I think he was such a gentleman for not reacting. And that, that's a man, you know, that's, that's a mature man. Will Smith, of course, um, you know, just under so much pressure. So like one of my male coworkers said, you know, Jan, he might've had a mental breakdown. He could have just, breakdown. Another thing a lot of people are saying, which I think this is more it, you know, Jada probably looked at, he looked at Jada see the face and, you know, she influenced him to do something, but I'm going to come back and do a video for the brothers about making sure the wife you choose will not influence you to do something um, that is going to destroy your character and your integrity because wives, we are to be influenced. That couldn't have been my husband. If I if I saw my husband getting up to go do something, I would have to stop him. I'm go, uh-uh, Mike, 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 uh-uh. Come back, baby, babe, come on, uh-uh. I'm gonna go up there. Come on, baby, come back. Because see, I can't afford to allow my husband to do something that's gonna destroy his good name, his character, his integrity, and then destroy your ability to provide for us. Granted, Will Smith is a multi-millionaire, but you know what I mean, right? So, um, I, you know, I remember a situation, I had a situation one time that um, this man, he shook my hand and he was really inappropriate. You know, if y'all know what I mean, men can shake your hand and they can communicate with you. They want to do stuff to you. <clears throat> And to this day, I've never told my husband. I've never told my husband because I'm like, I don't know what Mike would do. You know what I mean? I just, and what I what I did now, I stay away from that person. If we're ever in the, in the, the I'm ever in this company of this person, I just stay away from them. I never shake their hand. I'll say good evening, but never, never again, because he did, he was inappropriate. But I, to this day, I've never told my husband. This happened first year of marriage. But I've never told him. Because I'm like, I, I don't want to 
put my husband in a position to do something or say something to jeopardize him or his ability um, to provide for us. I, if I was Jade, I wouldn't have let my husband go up there. You know, I, I think that there are times, ladies, when we have to step in, when we have to speak up. You know, my husband was going for this position and I just felt in my spirit it wasn't a right position. And I'm like, Mike, why you want to go? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. And he was like, babe, I, I want this. I, I feel like this is it for me. And I'm like, no, I'm just not, you know, I, I'm like, but you know, in the end I told him how I felt about it. And um, I, then I became supportive and I was like, yeah, 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 honey, yeah. <laughs> He's emailing. I'm like, man, please stop emailing the people. Just leave him alone. <laughs> and he didn't get, he ended up, he did the interview and everything, and he didn't get the position. And he was just so upset. And I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I said, oh, baby, God, God has something better for you. He has something greater for you. And let me tell y'all. About a year later, uh, an opportunity came up and he has not stopped thanking me to this day. He was like, babe, you were so right. You were so right, man. I could have been in that office. I would have to go to that office every day. I know I get to do this and I get to do that and I get to do. And I just smile and say, see, I told you the Lord was going to work it out for you. <laughs> you know, but I, I just think as wives, we that's a part of being a wife is a part of sometimes we have to step in and and say something you know and if our husbands are our wives wives represents the holy spirit okay holy spirit we are we play the role of the holy spirit in the lives of our husbands okay and so the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will never override the Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus was here with his disciples, he told them, he said, I have to go away so that another can come a comforter because Jesus was one man. Jesus could not be in every place at one time. And so he says, I'm going away, but I'm going to send you what? A comforter. He will teach you all things. He will remind you everything that I have taught you. And so the wife in the life of a husband plays the role of the Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit do? He reminds us. He encourages us. Uh, you know, just my husband, my husband travels. And before he leaves this house, I remind him, honey, you are a man of God. You love the Lord. You know, you have a great family. We love you. Um, you're a great husband, you are a great father, you have a good name, you're a man of character and integrity. I give my husband this talk every time before he travels, he gets on a plane or whatever, because I want to remind him of who he is and to always remember of who he is. And even when you're not with your family, you're not with your wife, you are reminded that you are a man of God first. You are a good man. You're a good husband. You are a good father. So those are the things you keep before you to keep you on the right and narrow path. And so I, I, you know, I, I, I just, I really feel bad about this whole Jada Wills and, 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 um, and, uh, Chris Rock and I just hate I just, you know I just hate it I hate it because he Will Smith is so accomplished but I really feel and I agree with a lot of you who are saying that perhaps he felt that he needed to show some kind of force for um his Jezebel wife but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and read this article. Did I say good morning, girl? I told you I'm having internal struggles, y'all. Good morning. It's Saturday. I'm up early. I've been up trying to get my my journals together. It's been giving us a hard time. So um, my formatter and myself and my um, cover designer has been just going back and forth and trying to redo and re. <sighs> so I hopefully we get it. We got it right. So this morning I'm gonna upload my new files. All right. 
be sure to subscribe and and share this out if you can. Thank you for those. A couple of you sending me cash apps for my coffee. I'll read those at the end. I love you. Let's go ahead and read this article, ABC News. Will Smith resigns from, from Academy days after slapping Chris Rock at Oscars. He described his slap of Chris Rock during the ceremony as shocking, painful, and excusable. Uh, and I did the video last night about the producer saying they, why they allowed him to leave, but I, I'm just listening to something this morning. I forgot what news channel, maybe it was Fox or ABC news. I'm going to come back and talk about that. Cause somebody's lying. Somebody's lying and I don't know who it is. <laughs> okay. It says Will Smith on Friday. Resigned from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences almost a week after slapping uh, comedian Chris Rock. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Smith, who won the Best Actor Award for King Richard after the stunning onstage assault, had faced disciplinary action and possibly expulsion by the Academy. I He said, I betrayed the trust of the Academy uh, Smith wrote in his statement, I deprive all the nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. And I am heartbroken. Now this is, I have a problem with this, Will, because if you, the, if you knew this, Will, if you knew this, you knew, see, these are the things you think about. Hallelujah. These are the things you think about. First of all, Jada is not off limits about making jokes. I didn't see anything wrong with the G.I. Jane joke. I if if I was her, I would have been like, call me producers. That's right. G.I. Jane too. You know what I mean? She done lost an opportunity. She could have gotten a job. When was the last time Jada worked? When was the last time she was in the film, right? <clears throat> you have to learn, you have to think ahead how you're gonna react. G.I. Yes, G.I. Jane too. Call me producers. When can we start filming? She could have gotten her a job. Okay. And and again, again, Chris Rock did not know. Let me make this. She had alopecia. I didn't know she had alopecia either. Because my daughter has alopecia. And Lexi ain't got no follicles. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back and do a video on that. Because some people are saying... The, that don't look like no alopecia to us. And that's why I didn't know she had alopecia because she has her follicles. People with alopecia don't have any follicles. My daughter lost all her hair. Every last strand of hair Alexia had at 15 years old, she lost it. Her head was bald like my hand. You could not see any follicles like on Jada's head. You can see follicles. Lexi ain't have none of that. And a lot of women who's had alopecia, they're saying, well, ooh, I wish I had some here follicles. But I just, I just think it's a whole, it's, it's, it's a really sad situation all the way around. And, um, you know, I, I'm just, it's, it's really sad. I think he was stressed and he had to show up. The actor said he was prepared to accept any consequences uh, the organization deems appropriate. Academy President David Rubin said Friday the group had accepted the resignation and was planning to move forward with its disciplinary proceedings. I don't think anything else needs to be done. He resigned. I don't think and it, Will Smith resigned. I don't think there's anything else. No, do not take his Oscar. He worked for that. That had absolutely nothing to do with the slap. He worked for it. He did a great movie. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and buy the movie and watch it this weekend with the kids. Because I was I was waiting for it to come on Netflix or whatever so I can buy it and we could all watch together. And I wasn't going to. But now I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't think they should take his Oscar. I think he worked for it and you should leave it. And I think because he resigned, I think that should just be it. Leave him alone. Okay. I think, you know, he perhaps was under a lot of pressure, you know, to, to, to act for his Jezebel wife. Uh, and he, 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 act. cause he laughed. 
He laughed. He was enjoying the joke at first. He laughed. I thought it was funny. I was like, Man, what's wrong with that? That's a good joke. That's a good joke. And she could have gotten her a job. Okay. Smith loses voting privilege with his resignation from the invitation only organization. My action at the 94th Academy Awards present presentation were shocking, painful, and inexcusable. Smith said the list of those I have heard is long and includes Chris, his family, and many of my dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance and global audience at home. This is another thing. You 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 need to be able to, to see the end. If if I do this, if I do this, what's going to happen? It's the same thing I talk about over here with dating, ladies. If you marry the bomb, the potential, what is going to happen? You have to see the end from the beginning. And that takes wisdom and discipline, and it takes a thought. And, and I, in the book of Proverbs, I remember reading, it, it, it doesn't say this, but this is what it means. When you're angry, don't make a decision. So when you're angry, A-N-G-R-Y, do not do not react. Do not make a decision. When you are hungry, H-U-N-G-R-Y. When you are too sleepy, when anytime you're not fully yourself, do not do anything because you will 99.999% of the time live to regret it. And this is what happened. Smith walked on stage at Sunday ceremony and slapped Chris Rock. Uh, Rock at the comedian make a joke about uh, Smith's wife, Jada Pinky Simmons. Rock said he was looking forward to seeing Pinky Smith in G.I. Jane too. What's wrong with that? She should have said, yes, call me producers. Yes, G.I. Jane too. That was a good joke. That was a good joke. If I was, that was me, I'd be like, G.I. Jane Joan, where's the producer? Let's get right in. Let's get start. When do we start? She could have got her a job, child. Uh, in 2018, Pickett Smith revealed that she had been diagnosed with alopecia, a condition that caused her hair loss. The film J.I. Jane star Demi Moore as a woman who shaves her head during military service. Uh, Rock declined to press charges, as the Los Angeles Police Department said. Ha, uh, has said Smith on Monday on Instagram apologized to Rock Ryan. I was out of line and I was wrong. These are the things you think about before. He said that he was embarrassed and that violence is never acceptable. Thank you. The Academy's Board of Governors said Wednesday it had initiated disciplinary proceeding against Smith, which would include suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions. I just don't think they should take his 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 Oscar. Had he been expelled, Smith would have joined a small group of men removed from the Academy. Harvey Weinstein, Roman Paul Polanski, Bill Cosby, and the actor Carmine Caridi, who was kicked out for sharing award screeners. Any actor can be nominated and win an Oscar, but only Academy members can vote on the awards. Members vote for nominations in their categories, and everyone can vote on Best Picture, and they also vote for winners according to the Academy's website. It's really sad. I'm I'm really saddened by all of this, but this is why for those of you who are saying uh, everybody's a work in progress. There, there has to be a time that you mature, okay? And it needs to be a time when you're a fully grown man or woman. And yes, yes, I'm not saying, I am not saying people don't snap. I know people snap, okay? Because I almost snapped one time. I wrote it in my book, Print of for Children, that I need to go ahead and do a redo. And you guys could read that. So I almost snapped one time. And I could have possibly, possibly, possibly hurt somebody in the worst way possible. Like, you know, I, I know people snap. I know. I'm not saying people don't snap. But I, I think that there are some things that we need to, we really need to work on. You know what I mean? Like, if you have all this built up anger and resentment and stuff like that, either go to counseling or don't be around the person or don't be moved. Have you ever been talking to there's some, sometimes I'm in some situation and I'm like, I know this person is going to say something to piss me off or to upset me. So I'm talking to myself in my brain. 
don't be moved, Janice. Don't don't get upset. You know, they're intentional doing this to get get a reaction out of you. And it really helps. It really, really do has. And I'm just so sorry about what happened with all of them. You know, Will Smith tarnishing his his good name in it's it's just it's 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 sad all the way around. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love and adore you. Um, what time is it? Come on over in the living room with me. I'm going to watch, put a ring on it. I feel like I'm over ready to love, but I might watch so I could talk to you guys about it. I feel like I'm over married at first sight. I'm exhausted and I really should have listened to myself and not watch. I'm exhausted of married at first sight. Okay. I'm not exhausted of the shows. I'm just exhausted of married at first sight. I'm just worn out with them. And I should, I should have listened to myself. I love you. Listen, show me love and support um, in my book. I want to thank you for those of you who's been sending me coffee. You know, guys, you know how I am, right? I don't remember to tell you guys about my cash app. Join my Patreon. That's the way you can talk to me one-on-one um, -on -one daily. Uh, my cash app, for those of you who want to send me, uh, want to buy me a cup of coffee, that's a way of doing it. I I hardly ever remember to remind you guys because you know how I am. I'm all about my books. Okay. My girlfriends be emailing me. Oh God, James, why didn't you tell, remind people about your cash app? So I guess I need to keep a note up here to remind you guys. Um, and it's in the comments because I get a lot of comments. What's your cash app? And so I have to remind the cash app is below. Jessica, Jessica Farad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for uh, sending me money to buy coffee. Toy Joy, Toy Joy. I love this Toy Joy. She says for coffee and content. I love that girl. Coffee and content. That's what I'm going to call it from that one. Thank you. I appreciate sugar, sugar. Hey, sugar. How are you, babes? Thank you so much. I need to, um, I need to, um, Sugar, I need some new masks. I need to see what you have, if you have any new masks. Sugar uh, is one of my girls from California. I'm going to be coming out there soon. Hubbalicious has a trip coming up to California, girl. I'm going to come out there to see you. Thank you, babes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Let's see who else that I didn't give a shout out to. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Vanice. Thank you, babes. I appreciate it. I love and support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the those of you in my Patreon and those of you in my Patreon. We'll begin this new book. It's coming soon. Um, I just have to add my picture here because I was thinking I didn't want to add the picture because the pi this picture is absolutely beautiful. But then I said, no, I really need to add my picture in my little write-up. I love you, Gaga. Bye. -ya.